it's all Lego. Welcome to London. Hi everyone, um, I hope that you're all doing well. And today I'm in London and I am doing a solo trip for the first time. And I'm gonna go to a few shows over the next few days and I thought that you guys would come along with. And um, a lot of people ask how I do these trips, so I thought I'd vlog it and share with you what I'm getting up to. So I'm on the way to the first show and this show has probably been the most anticipated trip of the year for me so far um, because I love this show but I've had the chance to see it today and I'm on the way to the venue now. I come here from Plymouth because my uncle lives in Plymouth so he takes me down to the bus station so thanks Nige if you ever see this and I love you lots. Then I go from Plymouth to London Victoria and um, today has been a bit of a debacle because our bus the um, aircon broke so we had to transfer buses so that was fun and then it was delayed so usually it doesn't happen but I'm by myself so I'm thinking that's why and I usually just walk through Victoria station I need to cross the road and then I go through to the other side of Victoria where Wicked and Hamilton are so that's my day that's what it's been like so I'll catch you when I'm at the theatre so I'm in Victoria station at the moment and I always walk by the shop and I keep eyeing it up and it's called Lola's Cupcakes and they have the most delicious looking cakes and every time I'm like I'm gonna go and get one I'm gonna do it but I never do and I'm now staring at my first matinee show so for the matinee today I'm finally going to visit the Victoria Palace and I'm gonna be watching where is it? I'll be watching Hamilton! I love the soundtrack of this show and I feel like it's one of those shows that if you ever come to London you need to come and see it. I've heard so many great things about it and I'm on my way now. I can't believe it. So it's currently 20 past one. I've had food so I think I'm going to queue up because it's quite a rare occasion to queue up at a theatre but at Hamilton it's guaranteed. I'd recommend coming here at least like 45 minutes before the show starts. There's already a queue so I'm going to get in that queue now and see the show. I've got my ticket. Everyone here is so nice as well and I just had an announcement because we've got quite a few understudies on and um, there's going to be a person called Phoebe Liberty covering for a girl called Kelly Downing I believe. <laughs> so I'm really excited. My God, I can't believe this is happening. What? Hi there. Hello. Oh my God. Yeah, A20. A20, so it'll be just straight to the bottom and just the seat right here. Thank you. Hi guys. Oh my god, sorry for the angle. But this stage, oh my god, this stage is insane. And this theatre is like a TARDIS, like everything fits in here. So I'm A20 and the stage is like right there. What? The leg room is a bit, I'm sort of glad I've got an aisle seat, not gonna lie. But apart from that, I can't really complain. I love the intricacy and like the architecture as well. It's got a similar atmosphere to Les Mis, like it was really chilling and like just royal. That's the only way I can describe it. I just can't believe I'm here. Oh my god! That was so good, I can't believe I was in the room when it happened. Yo, sorry, it's a bit of a weird angle and worse quality because I'm on my phone. I um, accidentally didn't erase the content from my SD card, so when I put it in uh, this morning, it was like, you have 10 minutes. So that was great. And um, also, I'm trying to dive into a Nando's because I'm starving, so you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm gonna have to have a fry though first, sorry. <gasps> oh my god, so good. Right, let's talk about Hamilton because that's where I went. Hamilton is like insane. It's revolutionised like in every aspect, like the staging, the acting, the, like the songs, which is like the foundation of the show, the lighting. Like I'm so impressed. I can see why people like it. My only thing is that I kind of got lost in places, but I think what would really help and what would benefit me, if you're going to go and see Hamilton, see if you can listen to the soundtrack, but like know it word for word because there are quite a few raps but I got a bit lost in places however that didn't like stop me from having a good time and it didn't ruin it at all I was in seat A20 in the Grand Circle it was like one of the best views I've ever had and like I would not pay £200 there wasn't any restricted view um, it did say on the website there's a pole so I was in the aisle seat there was a pole but um, that didn't affect anything and I was sat in the aisle seat the leg room was like really close so if you prefer room 
maybe the grand circle isn't the best choice because my legs were literally touching the side. Um, I will insert a picture, but it was very close, so just a warning if you want to see the show. Also, there were so many swings and covers, and I loved it. Like, I was so glad I got to see some swings, and I got to see some ensemble members take, like, the second covers because, um, or the first covers, because, like, it felt like they'd been doing this for years. They obviously have, but, like, their roles, it was just effortless, so... Hello, me hats off to them. I'm basically near the other palace, which was where Heather's debuted in London and in the UK. But I tend to like make it a ritual or a tradition for me to go and see the other palace and see Haymarket while I'm in London. It's really weird. And so I like going to those places and I'm, it's one of those things where I like have to make sure I go and do it. So I will go over and do it now, but like I Hamilton I'm just so blown away by it and god the wait was so worth it and I'm so glad I took my shot and went I'm sorry cheers also if you want to know what I got here's a Hamilton haul with Kelly in five seconds first of all I got a program then I got badges then I got a bag someone's come out of their house and I just froze because I was like where's that noise coming from that's what I got just in case you wanted to know so anyways now I'm on my way to the other palace but I've decided I'm gonna walk to Leicester Square because I could get the tube but it's not too far away well it's about a five ten minute walk but I like to do it so and I've got time to kill so why not go and have a little walk and walk off me Nando's Fernando's I didn't actually talk about my favourite songs from Hamilton um, my favourite performances were definitely satisfied Burn I loved but basically you need tissues because act one I was fine and act two I literally sobbed and I was told this many times and I didn't listen so there was me and the woman sat next to me like snuffling up our tears I'm at the other palace now oh God, it's almost a year since Heather's opened that's crazy that's actually ridiculous I stood there ready to go in and we stood here at closing night when the post box oh my god I miss you, top. No, in my luck, I've stumbled across Buckingham Palace and I think there's been a guard change. <laughs> Me and my mum always have this thing, like whenever we're away together, something like mad happens. Like, so one time we stumbled across the premiere for Star Trek and they invited us in, but we were like, well, we'd rather give it, like you give it to someone that knows and likes the movies. Then last time we came here, there was like the royal horses and everything out. And now it's another guard change. <laughs> Look at me, Mum. So yeah, usually I go through and pass back in the palace. Hi, Queen. And um, then I go down the path towards Trafalgar. And then I go up Shaftesbury Avenue, past Haymarket, and then I'm in Leicester Square. Well, Piccadilly Circus, and then I keep going in the Leicester Square. But that's what I do, really. I just thought I'd keep up with you. <laughs> I just finished Jamie and it was so good. It was very uplifting and I just love the message of being proud of who you are. So you can put your hands up. But um, that's been day one and I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I'll be back on Monday and I'll be back with another vlog for day two. So hope you enjoy. Have a good evening everyone. And welcome to day two of the solo London trip vlogs. It's currently the 27th of May and it is 2 p.m. I am currently in St James's Park and I just thought I would update you all. So um, what happened on Saturday? Yeah, so I came back from Jamie. It was really fun. It was an all good feel show. I love the songs, they're really catchy. Um, and I just like, it was such a lovely bucket list thing because I've always wanted to see Jamie and I'm so glad I got to. So there my glasses. And then I got the coach at 11 p.m. And then um, I got into Plymouth at 5 a.m. So my uncle, bless his soul, he came and picked me up and um, we had a lovely day on Sunday. Not gonna lie, we like slept for most of it. I was shattered, he was shattered, but I'm so thankful for him. And it just helped me regain energy for today. Like I said, I'm in St. James's Park and currently Vitality um, is taking place. Actually, well, it just finished because I was walking up here and uh, they announced that the last participant was coming around the corner and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna cheer them on, so I did. It was such a lovely thing to see, especially the last participant as well and just the resilience he had so congratulations to him 
And whilst I'm in St James's Park, I'm going to be finishing To All The Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I'm loving it so far. Um, obviously, I watched the Netflix movie and I've read the book or I'm reading the book, so that's what I'm doing. One pet peeve of mine, and please comment below if you agree, is if there's a film or television adaptation, they put the characters um, faces or the actors faces on the front of the cover because it just restricts imagination for me that's a massive thing that I don't like about um, uh, novel adaptations when it's from a film or a TV show so I just thought I would share that but then tonight I'm gonna go and see Sweet Charity which has um, some amazing people in it Anne-Marie Duff and there's some Heather's alumni Lauren Drew and Charlotte Giaconelli I have seen Sweet Charity before but I had to see it before the run had finished. But that's the plan, and I can't wait for you guys to come along, so, yeah. I'm currently staying in the Easy Hotel Victoria, and um, it was described on the website that the rooms are quite small. This is like the width and then right behind you is a double bed. <laughs> I, it's really funny. Um, but the people are lovely, customer service has been great so far. And I just needed to come in and refresh. So um, I'm going to get ready before the show. I'm so excited. Like it's hitting me that I'm going back again and I can't wait. That will quickly give you a skim of the room and then I'll start getting ready. So this is the width of the room. You have the door here to the bathroom. And as you can see, so it's literally this so you've got the toilet there sink there and then the shower is just around the corner and then you've got the bed there and my view is a lovely view of the wall it says that and there's a tv you can have an option where you don't have a window but i just preferred it for um my ease yeah but there's my room i really like it it's quite like cute and snuggly um i am a person who gets claustrophobic at times but this, I think I can deal with, and especially there's a window, because the window's there, I'm feeling a lot better. But for 30 quid, um, I couldn't complain. It's basically, it's near central London, it's accessible, I can walk there. So, so far it's a thumbs up experience. But now, a bit TMI, but I really need a wee, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've now got changed, and I'm on the way to the Donmar Warehouse. ta -ha. So I'm just gonna get the tube, and I'm on my way. I, the adrenaline is like, Starting now, I'm so excited. Abby, Wendy, this is for you. <laughs> bing bong bong. Wow, bing bing bong. <laughs> Everyone's looking at me. <laughs> hotel room as you can see um i just come back from watching sweet charity i had a lovely evening so i got to covent garden and i had a little to wander around and then i went to the h&m store or h&m not the h&m store i went to h&m and i picked up a few bits so here's a little haul when i say a few bits there's literally two things so it's this white t-shirt and it's got black rim and there's a quote on it and it says being kind since 1989 and i was like that's such a subtle heather's um heather-esque top and i just really like it so i picked that up it's 8.99 i got it in a large because i actually fit in larges now yes so i got this one and then i saw this dress and i was like i must have you because it was really pretty and it's from the brand divided as well as this top and it's a white summer dress with pink roses on it i just thought it was really really cute i went to h&m i had a meal at itsu it was really nice um or i had like some fast food there and then um i went and saw sweet charity this isn't the first time i saw the show um i will place a link in the description box for my blog review of it so this was the second and final time i'll be watching the show and it was so good i love the changes that they made i, I believe they made quite a few changes with like um staging and choreography and it's just it's so good i hope that it transfers to um the west end fishy one day for a longer run i really like the dolmar warehouse and um everyone did a fantastic job lauren drew played ursula um this evening and she was great like 
that girl is just so talented it's insane so I, I did go to stage door um, I went and saw Charlotte Giaconelli and I saw Lauren Drew I haven't properly met Lauren before and she was really really nice and I saw Charlotte and she was wonderful as always she's a gem so um, yeah that was the show and I, I have to say actually so I sat in the circle in the seat A20 that ticket was £40 and I believe it might be because of the leg room because the leg room was quite tight um, I am five foot three. No, I must be like I must. I'm short, anyways. So sitting there, like it wasn't too bad. But I think if I was any taller, I'd be like bricking it because. But the view was really good, and there wasn't any restrictions. So if you are interested in seeing the show in the Donmar Warehouse, I'd definitely go for a circle seat. That has been my evening. So I am going to watch Family Guy, and I'm going to dwell into. This massive bar of milky bar, yeah, this massive bar of chocolate, um, and I'm going to go to bed. So that's been day two, and I'll see you in the next vlog for day three. Tomorrow there's a lot in store, and um, I'm going to be going to Dwarf the World's Immersive Experience preview. So that's going to be good. So yeah. I will see you all in the next video. Good morning and welcome to the final day of the trip. Um, I, I'm very sad that I'll be losing time. I'm also really excited to get home and see my family and my cats. But today I have had a walk around Granary Square. Um, there's quite a few like boats and cafes and there's an AstroTurf area. It's really pretty so I thought I'd go and have a look. And I'm, not, I'm a short distance away from the YouTube space and I've always wanted to go and see it. I've never been. So I thought today's the day, I'm gonna go and have a look and see what's in store. So come along. I've had a lovely morning and I just walked by the YouTube space. I actually went to go in and the security guard was like, hi, do you have an appointment? And I was like, no, I was just coming in to look at the pop-up shop and he was like, hadn't that already left like late October? And I was like, mate, I make videos, give me rights. No, I wasn't, I was just like, okay, I'll leave, but thank you. I think I'm going to head into Central now um, and do some leaflet hunting. Right, leaflet hunting is like a favourite hobby of mine. So um, I like to go and pick up leaflets from different shows and stuff. I love it. And I just like being in Leicester Square, so I'm going to go and have a look. This trip, I've seen so many sights and heard many sights. That is amazing. Yesterday's adventures. Um, so the first one, there was a fight in Leicester Square. And I didn't just like I didn't want to stand there and do anything, so I was like, I'm gonna leave because otherwise I want to get involved and be like stop, but that will put myself in danger. And then these two men asked for my number and I said no, and then I ran off, and then I got caught in a marathon, and that was that. And then today the adventures include hearing about someone's sex life on the phone the minute I get out of the hotel room. This four-year-old telling his brother to um F off. So that's been great. But I'm gonna head back to the tube now and see what other things I see in here. Welcome to being sneaky with theatre leaflets. So I go up to the stop. I'm not seeing anything because people can take them, but I feel really bad when I go up to a like, ticket booth and take leaflets. Let's just pretend you're all here with me, yeah? Okay, I've spotted one. I feel like such a rebel and I don't know why. Like, this is an okay thing to do. No leaflets. Damn. Oh, there's some, I've seen some more. Dee, 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 dee. Right, welcome home. While I wait, how's your day? Is it good? I'm glad. Yeah. Oh, I did it! Leaflet haul. I got come from away and I got, if I can get it, big jeans. So that's literally what I do and it's fun for me might be sad towards other people and now I'm in like the posher area of Piccadilly going into Oxford Circus Way or is it Oxford Street I always mix it up um, I do know London and I am going to take a visit to the Disney store because I want to and I can it's fine it's fine I'll, I'll restrict today I'll... No, I've got, no, I will restrict. Oh, no, 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 I've decided I'm gonna go to the second happiest place on earth, 
It's Hamleys. I oh, he's got bubbles. I'm in. I went to say balloons then. I am in. Literally throw it away. Okay. I want one. I'm not like that. Even straight here like the rocket. Like you're going straight up. <laughs> Want some bubbles? You can't see them. There were bubbles there. No, I really want a tenner in a row. Let's play bets. My bet is it's a tenner. Fifteen pound. Teddy, you're great, but I'm I'm skinny. Oh, it's all Lego. Welcome to London. Okay, this is cute. Like, can I have that, please? Def, just for you. They've still got. Taylor! Oh, he's not wobbling today though. <laughs> Alright, Phoebes, can you calm yourself down? Guys, they're playing the Palamori music! One, come inside and join the fire! <laughs> like, is this Disneyland? Do you ever just like stand in front of the fan and pretend you're in a music video because it's saying, after all, that's been. Alright, sorry, I'll stop. It's all pink! It's all pink! Not gender neutralised at all. What is that? What is that? Okay, but I was that girl that always watched the Sylvanian Families adverts and I'd be so envious. There's a ballet theatre. Look, a legit ballet theatre. This was my dream. That was my dream. Do you think the unicorn will fit in my hand luggage? I think it will. I'm gonna get this for my uncle. It's a penguin pool party. He will love that. My, basically, my uncle loves penguins. So whenever it's like Christmas or his birthday, we literally like go full out on penguins to like take the mick. Wendy, Wendy, you're flying. You're flying. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> how, how does that work? <laughs> I've had a whirl of a time in here. Ooh. That was a wild ride. Right, I'm gonna go off to uh, Disney Store now. The most happiest place on earth. Also, quick contents about the cow clip. So, I work with a lovely woman called Wendy and um, one of the children called her a cow unintentionally. We were just talking about animals and he said to the child, like, if we were an animal, which one would he be? And he said, you're a cow. So now, every time I see something um, that relates to a cow, or like every time I see a cow, I have to send Wendy a clip and I'm like, you're here! So that was the context of the cow clip. I didn't want anyone to think I was being horrible. Am I the only one who, whenever I go past prep, I have uh, Don't Lose Your Head in my head from six? Who am I kidding? I was prêt à manger. Ooh. Am I the only one? I'm in the Disney store. And Coral, if you're watching, there's the Aladdin section down there. And I feel like I shouldn't be going down because like we're the only two people on the planet that haven't watched it. But I'm going to try to pass and do it anyways. So cool, don't judge on me. Oh, this looks cool. The it looks like the Cave of Wonders. This is amazing. not the biggest fan of Aladdin like don't judge me um, it's not my number one favorite movie but this merch is so cool and I also um, have heard some great reviews about the live action so yeah it's all good but all good in the hood yeah, yeah. I need this bag sorry oh pops one quite like ducky i've just left the disney store and it was so magical that marble flooring that they have like i get very envious of it if i ever move into my own place i'm having that in my kitchen and on all the floors but now i'm off to meet my friend lois at the theater cafe i haven't seen lois in ages and we were gonna meet earlier but she had something to do and now she's free and she said are you around i was like heck yes i'm gonna come and catch up with you so that's what we're doing <laughs> <laughs> hey mate! I'm deciding which donut I want. In my room! <laughs> I want that! No, I don't. <laughs> Look at that wafty! 
Lois is here, by the way. Hi, <laughs> hi everyone. Hello. Welcome to the vlog. This is it good. That is what you call heaven. What flavour did you box. get? What did I get? Yeah, go on. I make honey moves. Ooh! I got the um by no Mars one. I have to go. She's got the boron on. Yeah. My brain's like a sieve. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear about Gavin and Stacey? Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god! Christ! I don't hey, know how Doris, to where's the salad? <laughs> Lois is putting Heather's on in the cafe. Oh That's it, Lois. Do the gods work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to um, the YouTube channel. Um, just got to put the shades on because I don't want any of the me. Because obviously the paparazzi is too much at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Like, they've got the door. I don't know if you see the door right there at the Theatre Cafe. Like, they've asked me to sign up, I just can, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just too famous for this stuff. They give me free hot chocolates, they give me free donut times, give me everything. <laughs> Wasting your emotion. Hi guys, um, so we're now at, um, waiting for um, this one to put a coat on, because it's raining. Um, I'm going home. I'm leaving the vlog. Soz, guys, I know it was the best bit of content you've ever had. I'm gonna miss her. But thank you for joining me. Thanks for helping me. That's alright. Get through this terrible you time. You can do it. Um, yeah, cheers. Bye! I've now left Lois. It was so lovely seeing her again. Um, it's been a while, but it was a great and much needed to catch up. But now I'm on the way to the venue for the immersive experience. Now people ask me, like, are you nervous doing this on your own? And I was like, no, I'll be fine. Now it's coming to it, I'm slightly pooping myself. Um, we will see how it goes. But like, I think I'll be okay. I'm gonna go into central now. So I will see you then. So I'm just tracking when I'm gonna where well, how I'm gonna go back. So if I get the Metropolitan line, I'll go straight to King's Cross and then go to Piccadilly. Change on Piccadilly. Great. So that was sorted. Uh, right, okay. Right. I'm now on the way to Covent Garden because I haven't been there this trip. Well I did I kind of did yesterday um, as I was in the Dormerwell house um, but I haven't had a proper look around this side of Covent Garden to like the markets so I'm gonna go and do that and it sounds like someone is singing so that's good are they vlogging then okay so we're gonna have a little wander around oh she's good it's all been a thing oh And this lady, bless her, she was a little bit lost. She was like, I need to get to Covent Garden Tube. So I said, I know where that is. I feel like a good Samaritan <laughs> helping people out. But yeah, it's just like, I was just walking around and I was like, I, I'm so excited to go home. Like, I'm so excited to see my family and my cat. But um, yeah, it's gonna be weird leaving here because I love it here a lot and like, this trip has been so good. Like, I absolutely love being with people, but I'm a very independent person. I like, in a selfish way, I like doing things alone. Um, and I'm very into like my own company. Like I prefer my own company. Being able to come up here and not in a selfish way, but like be able to do what I would like to do. And like, if I want to change plans, I can change plans. Like being able to come up here and independently, like, have a few days it's been really nice 
and I've met some really lovely people. I've met some old friends, I've caught up with them. I've met some new people as well. I've seen sights of London, that, um, and I don't mean like the touristy sights, I mean other sort of sights, but it's been really good. And um, I'm really gonna miss the trip. But it's now time for me to depart and go home. So I, I get the bus at like 11 p.m. and I get home at 7 a.m. So that will, ooh, this looks cool. So that will be interesting. I'm just gonna have a little quick look around the courtyard restaurants because I haven't done that yet. This is really nice, oh my God. Wow, I'm not gonna lie though. I think I've seen these lights on Instagram before. I think it's like an Instagram wall. It's very close. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, look at this. I've never been here before. They know it. <laughs> they know it. <laughs> they know it. Oh god. Oh, London, I love you. What a lovely way to end the vlog. Anyways, um, thank you all so much for watching. And if you've gotten this far, like, thank you, because it's been a crazy ride. But if you liked the vlogs, um, please thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like another vlog when I come back to London, let me know. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.